Welcome to UFC All Access. I'm Rochelle Leah. He's become one of the most popular fighters since joining the UFC. He's got personality, he's wild, funny, and he can fight. Power in both hands and has some of the best slams in the business. Which, by the way, he learned on the street. He told me the best way to end a fight was to slam somebody on the concrete. Ouch. Who is he? This is All Access, Quentin Rampage Jackson style. Jackson is one of the most intimidating and exciting fighters in all of mixed martial arts. He became famous in Japan for his aggressive attitude and destruction of opponents. Now Rampage brings his devastating slams, brutal ground and pound, and knockout power to the UFC. His dismantling of current UFC light heavyweight champion Chuck the Iceman Liddell is the only loss Liddell has not avenged. Since then, Rampage has made his presence known in the octagon, knocking out Marvin Eastman. Now at UFC 71, Liddell and Jackson will face off again. These two warriors will collide for the second time in what is sure to be the battle of the century. Join me today as Rampage gives us all access. Rampage holds his training camp up in Big Bear, California. I met up with him and tagged along for the ride, where I really got a chance to learn more about him. The mountains serve as a fitting habitat for a self-proclaimed werewolf. I'm a werewolf, you know, I, I like howling. It heights me up and if I win, I howl. And like if I'm in a good mood, I howl. Just something I got no control of. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I'm probably gonna do it till the day I die. I didn't howl one day, you know, right before I became a fighter, start wearing a chain. You know, I didn't I didn't just start thinking, oh, what can I do? Let, oh, let me make up this howl. I didn't do it. That's always been me. Rampage is truly an original. He told me that his walk-in song is original music made just for him. I really like my walk-in song, you know, because I've had it for a couple years now, and he got my name on it. That's what I like, you know, it gets me hyped. On the ride up, Rampage confessed he's a shopaholic. He promised to take me jewelry shopping. So... I don't think this is what I had in mind for jewelry shopping. We're at a hardware store. This should be interesting. All right, I'm going jewelry shopping rampage style. Yeah, you want to hang out with me? You got to wear the chain, baby. Right? Yeah. So what is the deal with your chain? You're wearing it all the time. Everyone knows you for that. I started wearing it back in high school. I was wrestling and I wasn't doing too well my first wrestling matches. And my little brother was like, hey man, you should wear this chain. It would probably bring you good luck. And it goes with my name. I'm Rampage. So yeah. It all falls together. So you're picking one out for me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get you something. Now you mentioned like this, so you know which which link, which link one needs links to cut. Okay. And how long you want it? That link right there. You want that link that right one. there? Yeah. That's what you want? Can you move your hands? Oh. There you go. Right here. What do you think? <laughs> that was perfect. Let's get this cut. Let's get this cut. Can we cut. get this cut? Get, hurry up and get it cut. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Yeah, what do nice. you think? Yeah, now you officially been pimped. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. You like it? For real? I do like it for real. Thank Good. you. No, no problem. No problem. Rampage went to drop off his rental car and get his pimped out wheels. Those rims on my car are my favorite rims. Those are twin folds. I get my name on a Rampage Street Soldier. I had to show them off this time because I got my name on it. Like, oh, damn. Enough fun. Now it's time to train.
surprised at how hot it was inside the gym. They keep their temperature in here about 100 degrees while they're working out, and there's two reasons for that. One, it forces them to keep hydrating during the workout, and two, Rampage doesn't want to get hurt right before his fight. When they walk in the door, their body's already warming up, causes less injury because you've got warm muscles. Anything else you want to know? I kind of got rusted from my Muay Thai. My Muay Thai used to be pretty good. I even went to K1 and kicked some ass with my Oh, no kidding? Yeah. Why? Yeah. That's awesome. Freshen it up so I don't want to be so, I don't want to be so rusty. I'm already musty. I don't want to be rusty. <laughs> He's working on his ground game right now. Now, some people don't know that Rampage has mad submission skills. His trainer says sometimes he'll actually pass up submission so he can get the knockout. So either ground and pound or knock their ass out. I really don't like uh, submission that much. I don't like jujitsu. It's, it's kind of boring to me. I, I'm, I, I like for the, for the referee to either pull me off or the guy to say, man, get this guy off me. Because people say, oh, I made a mistake. He caught me in a submission. But then you beat the hell out of them. What they, what they go say? I basically work on my own style that I invented called Whoop That Ass. That's the name of my style, Whoop That Ass. If you don't like it, I whoop that ass. His striking ability is very impressive. He's got some power behind his punches. When he gets hit, kind of gets woken up. That's when the guy kind of blanks out and he fights, and then I've seen him, I've been in it. Son, that was great. What did I do? His heart, it's, it's, it's just uncanny, and it's something I haven't seen in a fighter for a long time. I like to fight as the underdog. It makes me train harder. It's kind of like this. I'm coming to his house, right? Chuck, he's the champion. He's he been knocking folks out. He has a good record. A lot of people don't know that I whooped that ass. You die by school, you die by school. It's his turn to get knocked the hell out. Right, can I be the overdog? When we come back, we're on a rampage in Big Bear. Don't go anywhere. More UFC All Access when we return. Welcome back to UFC All Access. I'm Rochelle Leah. We're in Big Bear, California with Quentin Rampage Jackson. Rampage and his crew headed back to their cabin, and we agreed to meet up later. Even though I like people, I don't like living with a bunch of people. Hey, this guy's nickname is Chef Bad Breath, and he won't talk about my breath. <laughs> I'm a junkie type of guy, and you know, the guy's like, man, Rampage, what the hell wrong with you, man? Pick your drawers up off the ceiling fan, you know? Pick your breath. So the airline won't be a comedian, man. Nutrition is, is kind of important to me because um, other people say so. But before my fight, I try to eat real clean and stuff like that so I can have the most energy I can possibly have. Are you ready for this butt whooping you're going to get? Hey, what's We eat together, you know, play video games. We don't sleep together, though. Come on. Oh. You know, you have friendships that last for lifetimes just from, from one training camp. Rampage starts his workout with a run along the lake. I try with Big Bear to get away from, you know, saying the, the temptations of the city life, and, you know, and get the altitude and to be in that mindset. It's like boot camp, you know, before you go to war, you gotta get your mind right. That's what I do. I'm getting my mind right. My trainer like me to chop wood and stuff on my shoulders, and every time he comes to the mountains, he. Got yeah, me chopping wood with this axe. It ain't like I'm making firewood for nobody. That'd be better for me. At least I think I'm getting something accomplished. I'm just chopping. He had me chopping these big logs that I never finished cutting, you know? <laughs> All right, obviously Rampage is an absolute powerhouse. So right now what he's working on is when and where to use his strength. You're doing it nicely. And your pivot is really doing the feet. Your shoulders. Juanito is the best thing that ever happened to me in MMA. He's like, he's my manager, my trainer, my advisor, my financial planner. Uh, he tell me when my breath stank. You don't tell me that too often. What would I do with that? 
he's an excellent trainer too. You know, he he's got my footwork awesome and, and my my hand speed. You know, my cardio is getting better because I because I had to hold my breath when I get close to him to hit the pads. Do you brush your teeth with toothpaste? Yeah. Or do you use just water? <laughs> <laughs> That's cold, man. <laughs> Juanito, he kind of crazy. He's real strict when it comes to training and stuff like that. And he got, he's old school. He got all this, this crazy stuff. He got you bouncing on the tire. I'm like an elementary student when it comes to math. How's this going to help me in the future? Keep putting out the cigarette. There you go. I, and I ain't complaining too much. The only time I complain is when I'm training. That's why I make my opponents pay. You know, I got to train to fight them. So I'm like, man, you, you going to get it. I had to train. I got to bust my butt for six, eight weeks. I pray for you, you're gonna get it. Hold on tight. When we return, we're in Sonoma, where one of Quentin's sponsors had a surprise for him. We're racing with Rampage. Welcome back to UFC All Access. One of the most exciting things about UFC fighters is the opportunities presented to them. John Young, who shares a sponsor with Rampage, met us at the Infineon Speedway in Sonoma, California, with his NASCAR and a surprise. Hey, Rampage, what's going on, man? Good to see you. You too, man. Right on. Good, right? How are you, John? I'm doing real good, Rochelle, right? Yes, Very thanks nice. for having us here. Nice to have you. You guys got to be pit crew members for the day. Uh, Glad to be one. All right. Thanks, Thank man. you. Do I get to keep awesome. the shirt? Yeah, I got uh, one mind. more little surprise for you. See if you recognize this guy. Damn, what? Oh, damn, got my face on the car. That's pretty cool. Yes, uh, damn. I'm on the car. Made the car look good. Is that history? A black man on top of a NASCAR? I forgot to take a damn picture. Damn. Say, uh, want to go for a ride? Damn, I'm down. I want to go for a ride. All right, why don't you suit up and I'll meet you down at the track. Get All right. Up. Look at that. These are my recreation clothes. I can't get my chain. <laughs> now that's pimping. That's pimping? That is. So I, need a, oh, man, I need a mirror. I might switch over to being a, a race car driver. First, I got to learn how to drive a race car. I'm going to scream like a little girl. <laughs> We're good to go. All right. So we put Rampage in the car, and I told him, hey, if we get going a little too fast, just let me know, give me the thumbs down, and, and we'll slow it down a bit. But he took it like a champ. He hit about 165 on some of the straightaways there. Turn 11's a pretty famous corner. It can be real tricky. We brush right up against it, come within a, about a half an inch of touching it. And I uh, saw Rampage tense up a little bit in that section. Man, I'm a UFC fighter, man. You can't scare me. Damn no fan. Ball. You want to switch to that? That's what you want to do now? I think I'll stick to kicking ass. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got some news for you. What's the news? It's time to go to work. What? I'm ready to go to work. A couple of for you guys. Hey, right, hold on, dog. I'll get well, my hands. Don't be hands. a puss. Get your hands know. dirty. But last time somebody gave me some gloves, an ass whooping came behind. You know, that's what I do. I put on gloves, whoop ass. So my crew's going to jump out here, change some tires, and I want you guys to take a look and see how it's done. <laughs> Michelle, she kind of competitive, I've noticed. You guys ready? Yes. Come on, Rampage, let's go! I think she was kicking ass. The only reason why because she's a hot girl and those race car guys was helping her. And then every time I look, they jump back and she'll be doing it. It was a big conspiracy. She beat me, so I had to tie my shirt up like that girl. We ain't gonna talk about that. We can cut this part. <laughs> Man, it just ain't right. All right, this is a perfect time to take a break. We'll be right back with more All Access. Boy, I'll knock us through it. They must not. All right. When you say it like that, it sounds so wrong. When we return, more UFC All Access with the ever entertaining Quentin Rampage Jackson, and I'll also be meeting his kids. 
Welcome back to UFC All Access. We're in Big Bear, California with Quentin Rampage Jackson. We've seen how he trains hard and plays hard. Now we're heading over to his training house to meet his family. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Y'all want to go play some basketball, some, 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 some miniature golf? Come here, boy. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. All right, you guys. You guys take care. Hey, my boy. This is my $20,000 dog. He's just uh, three and a half months old right now. He might get just under 200 pounds, I think. I, I really like big dogs, you know. I want, I'm want. i a big dog. I wish I was the strongest man in the world, but I have the strongest dog in the world. That makes me happy. I wish you can go play a ninja golf, but, you know, you got to stay here with family. All right, Ken, folks. All right, so I, I'm talking hey, I'm talking about that later, man. All right, good night. All right. All right. All right. All right. You guys got your seatbelt on, right? Right. Right. Y'all friends, let's go. What's it, what's it? All right, you go down, what's up? I was dating some Japanese girls. They were teaching me some Japanese, but the, the bad thing was I was learning Japanese from a girl, so I was speaking Japanese like a girl, and I was wondering why guys would always laugh at me. Guys think you're a wuss, but girls think it's cute. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I have four kids. I have two seven-year-olds, D'Angelo and Raja. And I got like a, a one-year-old boy and I got a, a little girl. She's almost four months. Yeah, high five. But I want my kids to have like a good childhood and I don't want them to have to go through the things that I had to go through. And I want to be there for my boys. And I want to be a positive role model because I remember back in the day when I wasn't, I really want to clean up my act because now I have kids, you know. So they'll, they'll turn you, you know what I'm saying? If you got a country at all, they'll oh, turn you around. hit it. I'm a good one. I'm gonna do what it takes to try to, you know, make sure they get a head start in life. Woo! Hey, have a nice ride. <laughs> you wanna race? I'm down to race. Smoked me on the bobsled, but I just couldn't let it go. So we took it to the court. Gonna play some ball, huh? This might be the only thing you could beat me. I lie like a rug. You do. This is fun. Oh, hey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't find no time to some music. That's how I play. Here's a guy who grew up in the ghetto didn't have a lot for himself growing up and he could have gone in a completely opposite direction. Instead, he is where he is, succeeding at what he's doing, and he's a positive role model for children who are growing up now. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh! oh my gun didn't get funky there. Yeah, excuses. I don't want no handicaps. Nothing easy. None come easy. If you come easy, it ain't worth it. I got a quest. I got a goal. And I ain't stopping until I reach my goal. Chuck is gonna get it. Give me that thing. Yeah! What was that? I was distracted. <laughs> all right, Rampage, I want to say thank you for giving us all access. This has been one of the most awesome experiences yet. Good luck with your fight against Chuck. You know what? I'll let you win. But I ain't gonna let Chuck win. There you go. This has been UFC All Access. We'll see you next time.